just a quickie. I bought this in January. As you can see, it's better grow, bag baby. It was a nice size. It started blooming about seven days ago. And day before yesterday, it started releasing its perfume. And it's a beautiful coconut based. It smells like a, a coconut based uh, women's uh, suntan lotion or shampoo. And right now I'm standing right here. I'm standing three feet away or one meter and I can still feel the scent and the breeze is blowing my way. But it's doing well. It's got eight blooms. I saw Rogers this morning, which was nice. Very nice, Roger. The whole room is just beautiful. I mean, it's every time you show it, it's, there's something new flowering. It's beautiful. Best of luck with it, Roger. Enjoy it in the best of health. There's a lot of work there, and everyone can see it, and we enjoy seeing your videos. Everything looks so beautiful in there. All right, that's enough, Roger. <laughs> this Brassavola hybrid, I moved it out here a couple months ago. I had it in the South Shade House, where it was getting a little bit too much sun, and yet it's getting the same amount of sun and treatment as my other uh, Brassavola hybrids, particularly my uh, Maikai or uh, Yellow Birds. But it was getting a little bit too much sun and it was getting that reddish tint which scares me. And uh, I moved it back down here and the foliage is back to a nice normal green. Maybe a little bit too dark. But I don't want to play around with it too much, moving it back and forth. And it's the only one that has never flowered. And I have some Maikais that are seven years old, going on eight years old. And they uh, basically flowered every year for the last uh, four or five years. Because it took about two years, two and a half years for them to flower. They were originally in bags and four inch pots, which I've said a million times, but it doesn't hurt repeating it. For someone who have not seen the other videos. And this morning I also noticed another Marge Putnam opening up. And she'll have a nice fragrance in a day or two. These got to be taken out of their original they're still in their original media, which is a good six or seven months. And while we're talking about Grassavola hybrids, this one I picked up recently, well, maybe six months ago. It was in a salt-encrusted terracotta pot, and uh, it was just the roots and the pot. And I washed this down like there was no tomorrow. I mean, I flushed everything I can flush out of it, put it in this basket not too long ago, and it's flourishing now. It's doing well. The roots are attaching. Maybe I'll get it to flower. A lot of people don't want me to get it to flower, believe it or not. They say, no, John, go for size. Some of the girls at the local nurseries, uh, they're not too big on flowering either. They'd rather see size when it comes to, especially a Brazzavola hybrid. Then you worry about flowering later on. A lot of, you know, I've taken divisions off of some uh, Maikais in the past, and they did well. But I think this one I'm going to leave for a while. Oh, this 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 is not turning out good. I'm in too much shade here. I'm sorry. And as far as the uh, 
Hanohano go. I still haven't gotten around to putting them into baskets and they're shooting out new growth. So I want to get that done in the not too far off future. Like maybe in a couple days. And then come November, they'll go into their dormancy and they'll start to bloom again in January, budding in January and then blooming in February and March. I have videos showing these in full bloom and they're just beautiful. The one that Anna Maria got uh, a week or so ago that she showed in this morning's video is beautiful. Those, those canes are way longer than these, and these are bent over. So, you'll do good with that, Anna. You were really lucky to get one that big. I mean, that's, that's a specimen as far as I'm concerned. I think I counted nine canes on yours. Alrighty. I've got to run, believe it or not. I've got to water yet. Take care. One day I'll come out here and do a thorough tour. A lot of this has to go back into the South Shade House, which I'm renovating in there. I had a lot of damage with Vandas and Clean up that South Shade House and the East Shade House. I'm getting some uh, commercial racks which I could get 30 or 40 baskets on and throw 50% uh, shade cloth over it. And that should suffice for a while until I build another extension on this Shade House which would be right in that area going up to that first coconut palm. But I think I got to stop somewhere. I'm, I'm just getting too many orchids here. <laughs> I know you can never have enough, but you got to stop somewhere. <laughs> I'm compulsive. <laughs> Some of these cats that are kind of overgrown, I'm just going to leave them in their baskets. They're doing so well. This is one of the problems when you grow in a basket. The bulb will just grow out where you don't want it to grow out, and you're going to lose it. But, those things happen. This is a pink empress. Another pink empress. There's a lot more below, but I'm not going to show you the dirty floor. <laughs> Alrighty, take care. Ciao.